Greetings everyone, all classic gamer here and welcome to a brand new unboxing video, the first video of 2021. Happy New Year everyone, let's check out what is inside this package, which is going to be the first package for New Year. We can see it is from, from Play Asia, which means it's gonna be something, uh, something pretty nice. Let's just get... They make a nice, uh, nice duct tape, not too hard to open. Yep. There we go. And just to take care of it from the other side. And, oh yes. There we go. And again the other side. And... We've done it. Oh, they have um, pretty good uh, extra stuff. Oh, we gotta see what that is. And this is not so important. Hmm. This is something uh, uh, plastic like. I'm not too sure. Like something. Uh, Promotional, not too sure what, uh, and um, we have a we have a Happy Halloween award, which is pretty interesting. Just shows how long the the package uh, traveled. Uh, we have uh, we have more stuff, uh, and more like uh, promotions, and it says that they have a a physical store in Hong Kong. I definitely hope to visit it one day because uh, Hong Kong is definitely a place I would like to check out. And uh, there is also a promotion for loyalty program, which is pretty cool. I like it. So now let's open up and see what do we have here. Whoa! What is this? Bubble wrap could be useful actually for future, so I'm not gonna dispose of it. But what I can show here is what we have. All right, so we have a collector's edition of Toho Spell Bubble for Nintendo Switch, and this release is um, pretty cool in my opinion because. It even says what we got here. And what do we have? We have um, the game, a character pool, a top 8 character magnet, Yukari y Yukumo lenticular card, and art book. Which shows that these are some pretty good deals. And now let's, let's open it for a second. Uh, let me just... Uh, I need to be careful not to damage the the package because some of these always especially the first time they can be a bit tricky to open it's like they didn't intend for these ones to be opened very often and they even have the sponge for this and let's check it out all right so this one is um, like uh, completely in English, which is pretty promising because uh, I really wonder about the region of this um, of this cartridge because I read something and um, this is especially concerning about um, about the DLC uh, situation because this game has some some pretty cool DLC and. Uh, most uh, Nintendo Switch content is region free, even uh, when it comes to DLC. For example, you can uh, you can buy a Super Smash Brothers uh, DLC from any eShop, and uh, you can pretty much uh, play fine uh, no matter where you live. But um, but yeah, most of the time it's it is free, but. Not always. And this cartridge right here 
Come on, focus. I think this one is only for Hong Kong the store. So if you want, if you were expecting, despite the game being completely in English, including uh, box art and everything, I'm pretty sure that um, you sadly can't uh, simply just uh, go on a on a European or American eShop and purchase DLC, which is not which is okay for me. However, there's one problem. Nintendo has um, specific language only for eShops, so I have a Hong Kong account, but sadly the only interface they have is Chinese, which means if I want to buy something uh, DLC from this game, I would have to navigate through Chinese menus, which is in my opinion a very annoying fact, especially because um, um, you simply how to say when you when you when you go on uh, like uh, most of the Hong Kong storefronts, they all have uh, English support as well, including uh, Sony's PlayStation Store. Like when you're making an account, they ask you, "Do you want English or Chinese?" Because English is a second official language in Hong Kong, but Nintendo doesn't really care for that, and they just have Chinese. Despite the fact that this release is 100% uh, in English, you can see even the the front box art, and this is. Uh, a pretty cool art book. It has uh, it has all the all the illustrations for the for the characters and uh, like the backgrounds. Everything is here. It's, it's pretty cool. And uh, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, this is um, Yukari a uh, card, lenticular one. We can. Um, this is a good uh, this is a good packaging because you can return it. It sticks back. So when you like go and uh, check out the, the card, you can just uh, return it back, and uh, it's pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna what we're gonna do. We're gonna return it because why why get it scratched when uh, when you can just enjoy it. Uh, through this as well because yeah doesn't need to be really damaged and uh, these are uh, magnets I believe let's just check it out for one second yep these are magnets and you can always just you can always return them uh, here so yeah, you can. I'm probably gonna in a new apartment uh, to put it on fridge because they look very nice. And uh, the good thing is you can always sort of return them back here. So we are going to we are going to be returning it now in this package because there is no really a reason uh, why would. Um, we keep it outside to get it scratched when we can keep it protected right here. Although it is a bit getting out of the spot. Oh god. Oh, come on, go back in. Nope. You see, it kinda. It kinda fell out, but we are going to return it in. Yep, we've done it. So yeah, I really like this package. And uh, what do we have here? We have a mini soundtrack. Now that's interesting. I don't understand why, but uh, for some reason, they only include five. So yeah, I guess they say mini because it doesn't include uh, all the tracks from the game. Now, I don't know, was it like... Uh, what was the reason? Why not include uh, everything? This is a collector's edition, so why would you why would you limit to only a few tracks? I I don't really understand uh, the reason for it, but oh well, that's how they did it. I can't really do anything about it, so I'm gonna get get the game out because uh, I wanna play it later. So I'm just gonna 
return the rest of um, items inside the the bigger package. There we go. Hmm, this uh, sponge, should I return it or not? I guess I can, but it really doesn't make too much of a difference for me, but yeah, just doesn't, it, it can be there. And let's also get art book, and let's see if maybe the, the soundtrack can fit as well. Nah, I won't pressure it. Actually, if I do it from from the front, will it fit? Hmm. There we go. It fits now fine. It, I can't fit this in the. I can't fit this one, but to be honest, uh, I don't think I even need it in this at this point. But just one, some finishing details I can also put inside here because I don't like. Uh, or actually, hmm. I'll just calculate. Mm -hmm. Nope, this one is. Uh, they sadly designed it not so good, so. Can't fit there. So, yeah, that will go inside. But what can fit inside is, uh, is this. And. Uh, and uh, this, I guess. This one, uh, definitely not. Hmm. What is even this? Can't really figure it out, but... Oh well. Ah, to be honest, uh, better not to try to fit it there, because it keeps, like, falling off, and... Uh, yeah. Not so important. So instead, I'll just uh, pack it in the in the bonus box, like the main box. There we go. And uh, I don't know if this will also be able to be fit there or or not, but let's let's try it. Yeah, it's it's fine. It did fit in there, so yep, pretty good. I don't know what to do with this sponge then, but we'll see. And what is this even? That was also like a, a separated thing. Uh, it's like a, a blanket or something. Seems like it. Wow. This is the first time you actually get a blanket for, for as, as a collector's item. I'm very surprised about this. So, I don't know why. I, I don't even think that I... I don't think I saw it even uh, on uh, on video, like not, I mean not the video on website that uh, there is a blanket as one of the extra stuff. But nevertheless, it's it's pretty nice. I mean, you know, you're just uh, playing the game. And it's kind of cold outside, and uh, maybe the heat is not so good, so you can just use the total blanket to to warm yourself while enjoying in the game. So, I think it's uh, pretty cool. Just uh, trying to return it in a the best uh, possible way. Because I, I really wasn't sure what this even is. 
but um, now I see it was a blanket. I wasn't sure was it a blanket or some clothing like uh, like hoodie or something. It would be funnier if it was hoodie, but blanket's fine too. Yep. There we go. So, hmm, what can I gonna do? I guess I can use this sponge there for, I don't know where to put it. So that's gonna be here because um, this blanket I'm also going to be using in a new apartment. So no need to unbox it right now to open to keep it open. This. Um, pretty cool extra box. The game is outside because it's easier to play that way and then when when you're done playing you can just put it somewhere and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're a fan of uh, Toho games and if you also like uh, games such as Puzzle Bubble, I really recommend you get this game a try. It is pretty awesome. I, I tested it on emulator but uh, I wanted to own the real deal as well because uh, I own the Switch as a console as well and uh, it's more interesting to play on the actual hardware in this uh, particular case especially because there's extra content that is not available on emulator due to inability to connect online and uh, not all DLC was dumped so so yeah it's pretty good I like this and uh, hope you guys enjoy and see it.